This is a five-wave downtrend, with the MACD histogram applied at the bottom of the chart. And somewhere inside this last wave was the perfect opportunity to enter in the direction of the dominant trend with a low risk and a pretty high reward. It was right here, a leading signal using two leading tools. First leading signal came from the hidden divergence present on the MACD. And the second leading signal came from the Fibonacci retracement. This was a perfect moment to go short. And if you remained patient and applied a solid money management, you would have tripled your initial risk with this. With this strategy, pullback trading is no longer a guessing game. You will find high probability areas in the direction of the main trend where you can initiate your positions. So like, subscribe and stick around for the full video. The first step is to find an imbalance between price and MACD histogram with the assumption that this imbalance will signal a change in price. In this case, a trend continuation leading signal. So even though we're using MACD, which is by definition a lagging tool, we'll be looking for leading signals indicated by hidden divergences. Hidden divergences are considered a complex topic in trading, but I assure you, they are not. In simple terms, in this example, a hidden divergence is when the price is making higher lows, while the momentum indicator, the MACD histogram, is making lower lows. This imbalance is what we call a bullish hidden divergence, and it can often be a leading signal of an upcoming trend continuation. Let me give you another example. Let's say we have a market in a downtrend, making lower lows and lower highs. Now, if we look at the MACD histogram, we see that while the price is still making lower highs, the MACD is making higher highs. This imbalance is a bearish hidden divergence and is a strong indication that a downtrend is likely to continue. Hidden divergences using the MACD histogram can be a valuable leading tool to identify potential trend continuations, or better said, they signify a reversal of a short retracement, and at the same time, a continuation of an existing trend. So remember this, hidden divergences usually correspond with a short-term retracement. The 50% Fibonacci retracement is a key level, and it represents the halfway point of a price move. When prices retrace to this level during a pullback, it can indicate that the previous trend is still in place and there is still a likelihood of a continuation of the trend. The 50% level is very important when it comes to pullbacks and continuations and often acts as a key level of support or resistance. So when price is in an uptrend, this area can be used to identify potential pullback opportunities. If price retraces to this level and holds, it can indicate that the uptrend may continue. So you look to buy at this level. During a downtrend, if price retraces to this level and again holds, it can also indicate that the downtrend will continue. Again, a leading signal. Now, hidden divergences and the 50% Fibonacci retracement level can be a powerful combination when it comes to trading strategies. Combining these two leading tools can offer you a more complete picture of market conditions and can help you to pinpoint pullbacks. The idea is simple. If you see a hidden divergence forming on the MACD histogram, while price is approaching the 50% Fibonacci retracement level, this could signal a potential trend continuation trade. So how does the strategy work? From now on, consider hidden divergences as the potential end of a pullback. In this example, you have the basic illustration of a hidden bullish divergence. First, you can see that price makes a higher low. 
compared to the initial low. But MACD histogram makes a lower low. So during uptrends, you must compare the lows in the price and the lows in the oscillator to find hidden bullish divergences. You're not interested in swing highs on price or on the MACD. After you found the imbalance, you look for the second leading signal. So you apply the Fibonacci retracement tool. This isn't the only way to apply it, but here is my method. I look at the peaks and valleys in the MACD and I find the approximate areas on the price axis. So based on the swing lows in the MACD, the starting point for adding the FIBs will be here. As you can see, we have a hidden divergence, signaling a potential reversal of the previous pullback, aligning with the 50% FIB level, which indicates the same thing. Then, you simply pay close attention to the higher low formed at the end of the pullback. Price action and candlestick patterns can serve as additional confirmation tools. Now, just to be clear, hidden bullish divergences can form anywhere in a trend. But to increase the odds of your trades, you must focus only on the hidden bullish divergences that are found in an uptrend. Take a look here. First, you have a clear and obvious bearish hidden divergence, with price making lower highs and the MACD making higher highs. This type of imbalance mainly occurs during downtrend corrections. So during a downtrend, you must compare the highs in the price and the highs in the MACD to find hidden bearish divergences. You're not interested in swing lows on the price or on the MACD. Again, this divergence theory tells you that there is a strong probability that the downtrend will continue and that this pullback may be coming to an end. Then you apply the FIB retracement. Based on the swing highs in the MACD, the starting point will be here. So you found the bearish hidden divergence signaling a potential reversal of this pullback, which stopped around the 50% FIB level, which gives the same leading signal. Now, to identify a valid hidden divergence on the chart, you must mark the correct swing points on the price and the MACD. So you should not include small points within a wave to identify it. Use one complete wave on the chart and one complete wave of the oscillator to spot divergences. You need to correctly mark the higher highs and lower lows on the price and on the MACD histogram. Very important. In this example, price formed a higher low on the chart, while the MACD formed a lower low. So this is a hidden bullish divergence. Then, you add the Fibonacci retracement level. We see that the price is approaching this level, which could act as potential support. As price hit this area, you then look for a buy signal. You can enter when the price is around this level, which is a more aggressive entry. Or you could wait for a candlestick pattern. Pin bars or engulfing candles are additional confirmation patterns that buyers are trying to drive price higher. So a buy entry would be after you see this engulfing candlestick, when this small red candle is followed by a larger green candle that completely engulfs the previous candle. You place the stop loss below the 61% or the 78 FIB level and you initially target the previous swing high. If you want to find more profit targets, you apply FIB extensions. So, another price target would be here and here. Trendline breakouts or breakouts of other small levels 
are also very strong signals that the hidden divergence could prove to be successful if you don't find a valid candlestick pattern. So, if you're looking at this chart, you'll notice that there's an uptrend in place. And during uptrends, you compare the lows in the price and the lows in the MACD. Here's the hidden bullish divergence you're looking for. Then you apply the Fibonacci retracement levels to see if there's any potential for a pullback. And you see that price is retracing to the 50% level and is also forming a hidden bullish divergence. This imbalance combined with the 50% FIB level gives you an indication that the uptrend could continue. And now you're just waiting for a confirmation signal to enter the trade. If there's no obvious candlestick pattern, you move to a lower time frame. A trendline breakout could be your trigger in this case. When the price breaks above this trendline, this also confirms the uptrend is still intact and that is likely to continue. I also see a double bottom. An entry when price broke this level was another option. And after you place the buy position, you can set your stop loss below the 61% or the 78% FIB area. Your take profit would be at the next Fibonacci retracement level. Again, if you apply FIB extensions, you can find additional profit targets. By combining hidden divergences with trendline breakouts and with the 50% FIB retracement level, you have a powerful sell signal that can help you to enter the market with a high degree of confidence. Here's a short signal. First, you need to identify a downtrend on the chart. And as I said before, during a downtrend, you compare the highs in price and the highs in the MACD. Price is making lower highs and the MACD is making higher highs. That's our first leading signal. You then plot the Fibonacci retracement levels. So we have a bearish hidden divergence signaling a potential reversal of the previous pullback, aligning with the 50% FIB level, which shows the same thing. Now, you can enter right away when price is around the 50% level, and this is the best area to take the trade from. But it's a riskier entry, because you really don't know if this area will indeed hold. In many cases, price will continue the initial correction. That's why maybe you should adopt a more conservative entry. You pay close attention to the lower high formed at the end of the pullback. And you look for a candlestick pattern or you wait for a trendline breakout or other breakout from a lower time frame level. In this case, a safer entry would be after the price breaks below this previously established trendline. This is the trigger to enter a short trade. You can place your stop loss above the 61% or the 78% FIB level. Your take profit would be at the next Fibonacci retracement level. And if you apply FIB extensions, you can find additional profit targets.
hidden divergences are one of the most underrated signals in trading. In combination with supply and demand areas, they can confirm the strength or the weakness of a market move. By combining hidden divergences with supply and demand levels, you can increase the accuracy of your trades and take advantage of high probability setups. So make sure you watch this video next to learn how to identify and trade these key levels in the market. And check out our academy program if you want to further level up your trading. Until next time.